Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a nail polish declutter video. Um, I'm sorry for the way I sound right now. I have been sick since Saturday. Today is... Ooh. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna stop messing with that. But today is the Monday after Thanksgiving. I got sick Saturday after Thanksgiving. And it just literally came out of nowhere. So I'm not going to show you my face. I'm not going to do any videos today where I can show where you see my face because I just look ratchet right now. So I figured a nail polish to clutter. I have so many. Um, and I don't use nearly all of them. So we're just going to go through. We're going to stop at start at this corner, come all the way down. The stuff I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to put over here and the stuff I'm gonna keep is gonna be over here let me turn down the TV a little hold up all right hopefully you can actually hear me now so yeah let's get started so the first thing I'm going to start with are these two top coats over here. One's the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel and the other one's the Essie Gel Setter. Um, I don't like the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel at all, so I know I'm going to get rid of that. And the Essie one is okay. It's not my favorite, but I do need to keep a top coat um, if I'm going to be painting my nails, so I'm just going to keep that one. Whew. Alright, this is a pure ice nail polish. Why is it not focusing? Alright. And it's in the shade Twinkle. Um, I think this is a Walmart exclusive brand. I'm not exactly positive. I did not buy it. This nail polish was given to me as well as many other of my nail polishes. <coughs> Excuse me. And I honestly just don't like the formula of this. I don't like the color. I don't like the sparkles. So I'm going to get rid of it. My next three are all from Maybelline. Two are from the Color Show line. And one is from the Maybelline Express line. I don't like this formula at all. Um, so I am going to get rid of this one. Now, I do like the Color Show collect. Uh, um, colors, uh, formula, it's not the best, it doesn't say the longest on my nails, but I do like it, and I do really like these colors, so I'm going to keep both. Alright, next one is the Rimmel London Salon Pro one, and this is in the shade, who is it? Beige Babe. I really love this formula. This formula so far has stayed the longest on my nails. And I really like the color, so I'm going to keep this one. So far, four in the keep and three in the go away. Alright, so the next one, two, three, four, five are from NYC. I have five colors. I have Midtown Mimosa, Wine Bar, um, Tudor City Teal, Skyline Blue, and Times Square Tangerine Cream. Whew. All right. So, this formula doesn't really stay on my nails all that well. Um, and I don't really like a lot of the colors. The only one I'm going to keep is the Tudor City Teal. I really do love this color. Um, and if I find a dupe for that color, then I'll get rid of that one and keep the other one. And these four are gonna go. Bye bye. Alright. Next, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Sally Hansen nail polishes. Alright, so these are the colors. Um, I have the Complete Salon Manicure Line, Extreme Wear, Gem Crush. Triple Shine, Smooth and Perfect, and Hard as Nails. I hate the Hard as Nails line. That's going goodbye. This one, it takes way too many layers, as well as this one. So it just ends up peeling off within an hour. I don't like that. Um, I'm going to get rid of these two, just because I'm not the biggest fan of glitter nail polishes anymore. 
now we're down to these two. Um, this one, I tend to have a problem with the formula just because it does take a little bit of layering but I really really love the color so I'm gonna keep it for now until I can find this color somewhere else this is in the shade um lemon shark and it took me forever to get my hands on this it was sold out for the longest time but I finally got my hands on it the formula is a little iffy but I'm gonna keep it until I can find a dupe for the color and then this one, I had originally gotten because it was literally the perfect color to match a gown I was wearing for Rainbow Girls. Um, the formula is okay, so I think I'm going to keep it just because it is a really pretty like eggplant color. Um, for those of you wondering, it is in the shade Troublemaker. So I'm going to keep that. All right, my next two are the Milani Color Statement um, polishes. I'm going to get rid of both because they're both glitter polishes, but I do want to try out the formula with more of like a cream color because I think the formula is, I, if I remember correctly, I remember liking the formula, but I just can't stand the colors. I also went with two gold colors, and gold on my nails just doesn't work very well. So the next six are from CoverGirl. This is their Outlast Day Brilliant line, which is a really nice line. Um, and these three are minis, which is nice. Um, so this first shade is a glittery silver shade. It is in the shade Showstopper. Um, I'm just going to get rid of it because it's glittery. Um, and like I said, I'm not a big fan of glitter polishes anymore. And same with this one. This is in the shade Bombshell. Again, I'm just going to get rid of it. It's glittery and I'm not the biggest fan. Um, this one is in the shade uh, Forever Frosted. I'm going to keep this one. I really like nudes. And I think it's just really pretty. Um, now these three. These are from the Glowing Nights and Glossy Days. I really like all three colors, so I'm just going to keep all three of those. Alright, so in front of me, I have two L'Oreal polishes. I know I have a third one somewhere. I just can't find it right now. But when I do find it, I know I'm going to keep that one. It's in the shade Dirty Money, and I absolutely love that color. And this formula is really nice, so I'm going to keep that one. This one, I'm not going to keep. I hate the color on me. And it's their Gel Extraordinaire line, which I'm not the biggest fan of. So I'm going to get rid of that. This one is in the shade, if it will focus, Paparazzi Pleaser. And I think it's such a pretty color, and I'm going to keep it. All right. So the next one I have is from the line Finger Paints. I absolutely hate the brush on this. I hate the formula. I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm not even going to think about it. Next one I have is com is from the Confetti line. I don't, I know I've used this, but I can't remember what I thought about it. Um, it is a really pretty color, so I'm going to keep it for now. But if I find out that I ended up hating the formula, then I'll just get rid of it. The next one is a Formula X polish, neon polish from Sephora. And it's in the shade... What's the color? Oh, high strung. And I hate this. Um, it's very blotchy. It's very, it's just not good. I love the color. I think the color's gorgeous, but it takes, you really need to shake it up good. And then you need to like wipe off the first layer of polish in order to get the results you want. And that's just not okay by me. The next two are from LA Colors. Um, these are just really old, so I'm going to get rid of them. Um, the next three are from Wet and Wild. Um, honestly, these two, I don't like the color. This one, um, which is I Need a Refreshment. It just doesn't stay that long on me. I do want to try out their new gel formula, but these three are just going to go in the bye-bye pile. So the next few are from Simple Colors. 
all right these are all my colors from sinful colors i have this one in vacation time it's a really pretty new color and i'm gonna keep that one this one is in blue suede shoes um I'm going to keep this one, but because I'm keeping that one, I'm going to get rid of this one, which is in Savage. They're very similar. One's just a little bit brighter than the other, um, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, this one is in the shade Folly. There was a time where I did really like this color, but it's just not my style anymore, so I am going to get rid of this one. This is in the shade... Verbena, and I really like this color, so I'm gonna keep it. This is in the shade Mint Apple, um, and I'm actually gonna get rid of this one because I have an OPI one that's coming up that is pretty similar in color, but is a better formula, so I'm gonna toss this one. And this one is in the shade Skylark. I know this one offhand. I think it's a really pretty color, and I'm going to keep it. All right, the next one is by LA Splash. I hated the formula on this, it's going bye-bye. The next two are by OPI. This is the one I got rid of the mint apple one for. Um, this is um, in the shade My Dog Sled is a Hybrid. And I really like this color, so I'm gonna keep it, but I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's a really pretty color, but it's like, a, it has like sand in it and it's just not okay, um, for, especially not with the job I do. It just ruins the gloves, and this is in the shade on what grounds. My next two are from Spoiled by Wet n Wild. Um, this one is in the shade Did I Dye It Too Blonde. I remember buying this because Brienne Barbie bought it. Um, just kind of like with the sinful color Skylark, I bought it because of 11th Gorgeous. And I thought this looked so pretty on her, but it just did not work on my nails. It took way too many layers to try to get the color payoff. And with the way my nails are, I just can't be doing that. So that's going away. But I am going to keep this one. It's in the shade Thanks A Latte. Um, I remember my, sis my stepsister had this. And I painted my nails this color the first time I started painting my nails, and I freaking love this color, so I'm going to keep it. My next three are from Bonnebel. I got sent these from Bonnebel themselves, um, and I do really like the formula, but I am going to I'm gonna keep these two because they're really pretty. But I am going to get rid of this one because, once again, it's a glitter color, and I'm just not into glitter anymore. My next one is from Revlon. This is in the shade French Roast. And again, with the glitter, I just, I can't. So I'm going to get rid of this one. So my last five are from Essie. And like, much like the L'Oreal ones, I know I have one more. I just can't find the color right now. Um, I am going to keep all my Essies. I love the colors. Um, they don't last that, that, that long on me, but the colors are just so pretty. I can't even handle it. So I'm just going to go through the colors real quick, but I am keeping them all. This one is Virgin Snow, and I really love that color. This one is Bikini Sotini, absolute favorite in the summertime. This one is Strut Your Stuff, super pretty. This one is Raw Ringe, and I, I had an obsession with this color when it first came out. And then my last one is... Urban Jungle. I believe all of the colors I have, the exception of Bikini Sotini, were limited edition. Okay, so this is my get rid of pile. I'm getting rid of 32 polishes, and I'm keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, So I cut out over half of my nail polishes, and I think that's really good. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.